Hey there, we're under a freeze warning tonight and this rose is not gonna look this way for much longer, but I wanted to talk to you about this rose, but oh geez. Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows and I'm in my front yard garden and I wanna show you this beautiful rose right here. This is James Galway rose. It's a David Austin climbing rose and it's pretty special because it's ideal for a cold climate gardener. We're under a freeze advisory right now for the next 24 hours, so little Jimmy Galway here is not gonna look this beautiful for much longer. And these have only been in the ground for about two years. Actually, I planted them both bare root, but one is a little older than the other. One went in two years ago, the other one went in last year. So they're still relatively young and they do need to be reeled in a little bit. I got it, They got away from me. They really put on a lot of growth this summer and I didn't get a chance to tie them in and I really need to tie them in before the wind starts whipping them around. So I'm gonna focus on tying them into my arbor here this is my front yard garden and I've got one obviously you can see this is the more established one look at that just sprawling out so beautiful I'll give you a close-up in a minute unfortunately this past spring and summer I missed out on all these beautiful blooms because I didn't catch it in time they had thrips really really bad and if you're familiar with thrips they can really do a number if left unchecked so I didn't you know check these roses every day didn't check the buds and they got hit with thrips so I am enjoying my fall James Galway rose and what's really pretty about these look at how gorgeous that is the nice thing about these is they're a lighter pink in the spring and summer when they're in flower and it's a repeat bloomer but when the cold temperatures set in it gets a deeper pink and it's really oops oh well I knocked one off but it gets a really it gets a much deeper pink but look at that flower isn't that beautiful now James Galway gets to be about 10 to 12 feet tall so maybe you've got an arbor or a tall wall that could use a bit of color James Galway is a really nice choice so if you don't know my background I come from a journalism background so I wrote for magazines and newspapers both regionally and nationally um, and I covered stories on all different types of garden related topics and I was assigned to a story several years ago and I wanted to talk with an expert and, and I got the chance to talk with Michael Marriott from David Austin Roses which was quite a treat if you're not familiar with Michael Marriott he was with David Austin for 35 years he is an, uh, an internationally renowned rosarian he did, he's designed rose gardens all over the world I wanted to know what roses he would recommend for a northern gardener like me I'm in Chicago zone 5b in particular a rose that could stand being really exposed like a northwest facing garden like where I have this one here so he suggested James Galway James Galway is hardy in zones 4 to 11 and springtime blooms are a lighter pink but as it gets cooler out in the fall they deepen and it's really really beautiful unfortunately my arbor was not covered in roses this year because I had a three issue that I didn't catch soon enough so those roses were pretty much de decimated they looked awful so I get to enjoy my fall roses so my opinion on roses is it's got to be fragrant because what's the point of having a rose if it doesn't have fragrance but a lot of roses that are very disease resistant lack fragrance so that's kind of the trade-off that's not the case with James Galway very fragrant um, as a matter of fact the David Austin catalog describes it as having a a light to medium old rose fragrance and I really don't have a gauge for what light to medium would would mean I'm, I suppose if a rosarian would know you know just how strong of a fragrance it is but this is very fragrant to my standards and very disease resistant I have no issues with it other than those thrips and thrips tend to focus on lighter colored roses and I have a David Austin rose called Munstead Wood that has no trouble with thrips although I do get rose softfly larvae that that like to munch on it which is pretty typical for all of my roses but my James Galway has been unfazed by everything and it's got the most exposed location in my garden the rose on the right here is older it's been in place for about two years and it really has put on a lot of growth here you can see it arching this way I need to tie that into the arbor this is the newer rose this was put in last summer I planted both bare root they look pretty you know they look like they're not going to do anything that first year if there is a bare root and a container option I always go for the bare root option I find them to establish faster um, they're more resilient in the garden and that's what I did here both of these plants were bare root and I really like how they've performed so far so um, let me show you one other thing that's really important for um, how I choose my uh, my roses for my garden when I'm choosing my roses I'm thinking about a few different things I want a rose that has multi-season interest as a matter of fact that's something I always consider for my entire garden and when I'm thinking multi-season interest I want a rose that not only smells like a rose but I want it to have plenty of flowers I want it to to be disease resistant and I also want to know what it looks like in the fall and obviously having flowers in the fall is a, is a bonus but there's one other element of a rose that carries into winter time let me show you so what I'm looking at here are the hips on my James Galway roses and hips are really important these are the seeds that develop when the flowers flowers go away this is what's left if you don't deadhead and I don't deadhead um, after like the middle of July because I really want these these rose hips and they will turn a brilliant orange over time but 
Let me show you just how big these are. I think a good visual is always good. Look at that, it's about the size, it's even bigger than a quarter. So um, that's a really nice size hip. And as the hips mature, they'll go from green to orange like this one, and then there's another grouping of them over here too. All I'm gonna do here is I'm not pruning anything, I am just gonna tie everything into the trellis so it's not being whipped around by the wind. And I'm gonna enjoy the color change on the hips and just dream about what it's gonna look like in the spring provided I beat those thrips. The thrips really did a number on it last this past spring. So that was disappointing because you know, you come through the winter time and you're thinking about, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so beautiful. And then you have these little insidious critters that just ruin your plans. So um, I'll be on the lookout next fall, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie this stuff in and get it ready for for the winter. I should mention too that James Galway is super thorny, so a good pair of protective gloves. I love my gauntlet gloves from Women's Work and I'll have the, the link to that in the description. And then I also like these, these um, ties. They are covered, they're like a rubber coating on them so they don't do damage to the canes. I use them all over the garden. I use them for my vegetable garden and I reuse them until all of the, the rubber coating on it is gone. I'll link to that down below as well. So I'm just gonna stuff these in my pocket and start tying the canes in. Well, I think that's good enough. I had one small casualty of broke a cane, but no big deal. If you're looking for a rose that is really cold tolerant, this is Hardy Zones 4 to 11. Maybe it's got a northern exposure like this one, a lot of winter wind whipping around. This is definitely one to consider. I'm really thrilled with how James Galway's performed. Michael Marriott was absolutely correct. I mean, I had no doubt that he would point me in the right direction anyway. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, that would be awesome. Click that bell and you'll be alerted every time there is a new video up so you never miss one. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gardening.